Hello everyone, I am Lauren Williams, better known as Bobby Penn, and I am a journalist, media consultant, and brand coach. Um, I've been in the field for the past 15 years, and the way I got my start was creating my own blog. I always wanted to be a journalist, entertainment reporter, and when I graduated college, I could not get a job out of my field. I don't understand why not. So I took it upon myself to literally create my own brand and create my own opportunities, which has led me to now work with Radio One, Revolt TV, TMZ, the list goes on, I could read a full resume. Um, and I have now created my own online course, Put Yourself On Academy, which teaches you exactly how to build your own brand using the popular digital tactics that major brands, celebrities, and influencers use to grow theirs. Okay. So how important is content? Um, as uh, Langston said, content is truly king. Um, it is also an opportunity for us to control our own message, control our own image. Um, now more than ever, we have access to our own audience. We can cultivate this through a sense of community, and you can really rally together people who are like-minded. So it's important, not to mention that's how we consume information now. Um, we don't necessarily trust traditional ads, right? We're more skeptical than we've ever been. And we even question the media as a member of the media. You probably should. <laughs> so because we have the opportunity to share our own opinions, experiences, passions, etc., we can really um, build brands and businesses that can open doors not only for you, but for people who need to hear your story and hear your message. Well, in the vein of budgeting, Facebook actually has a whole creator studio, right, within Facebook, where you can schedule content to not only go out on Facebook, but also Instagram. So you can save that $14 and put that into maybe an editing app and pay for some extras, you know what I mean, make some cool fonts and graphics move or what have you. But I completely co-signed that. This thing, my iPhone, changed my life. No exaggeration. You really don't need a full studio to make things happen. Of course, you might want to upgrade as time goes on. But using the tools you already have is most important. And we have access to 4K video. We have access to high aperture photos. We have access to studio quality audio right in our palm. So. All right, we're back. <laughs> so we spend thousands of dollars on these devices and we really don't use them to the max. So I highly encourage you to use the tools you already have and strategy. Strategy is what's going to set you apart. So knowing the times that you should post, knowing the kinds of content that your audience is going to want. Um, and knowing that everything doesn't have to be high quality. Of course, you do want that, but people kind of relate to the real. They want you to feel natural. So using reels, using Instagram stories, using TikTok. I, I must be, I'm spitting fire. <laughs> but the long and the short of it is use the tools that you already have. How do you organize as far as timing when it comes to making the time to schedule posts, to do those posts and things like that, when you are in school or you have a full-time job or you have a family that you have to take care of? Yeah, um, so I've been managing several hats the entire length of my career. And it just comes down to prioritization and also delegating. Um, so I sometimes have a hard time asking for help and reaching out to people and trusting people to do what I need them to do. But we have to rely on the people around us sometimes. So scheduling, prioritizing what needs to get done when, particularly when it comes to content creation. As this gentleman was saying earlier, we can batch create. So you can pick a day, put, to get, put aside several different outfits, and schedule an hour or two to just film all the content that you want to go off for the week or for the month. And then you break that up and you share it in several different ways across platforms. And that makes it super easy. And again, maybe you're not good at editing. You can hit up one of us and we can edit for you or you can hire somebody that can do that. Um, and then schedule the tools that we mentioned. And you can still go about your business and handle regular life. The majority of people would love to have their own business. But they're just not sure how or what in going about that. Do you all have some pointers to someone who might be looking for as to what niche, what to look for, how to go about it, because you have to have it before you can market it. I would encourage anyone who wants to start any kind of business, whether it's content or what have you, find a solution. What is your solution? What problem are you solving? And from there, everything that this gentleman just told us, you can unroll. But I would definitely start with solving a problem. And that helps you identify who you're marketing to. Mm -hmm. And then that helps you pick the business name, the brand colors, the wow. font that you use, what time you post, what types of content you create. But what is the problem you're solving? If you can answer that, you've got a business. Mm -hmm. What about the people that are afraid to start now? Like, 
I meet so many people that are just afraid to get in front of the camera, you know, or afraid to put their brand out there. Like, how how can we break that that scariness? Going to speak to the the fear of I guess putting yourself out there. I get consultations all the time, and nine times out of ten, I'm giving motivational speeches more than I'm giving advice. There's so many ways to share your message, your expertise, your passion that doesn't involve you being on camera and showing your face or speaking in front of a crowd. So if that's what's holding you back, I would encourage you to think about writing, create a blog, use Twitter, platforms where you write, message boards. Also, Canva was mentioned, you can create graphics that have text on it that can tell your story. We have podcasts. So there are several mediums, media that you can use to still get your message across that doesn't require you to be the face. Also speaking to bigger business, I've seen Fortune 500 companies where they literally hire a person to be the spokesperson. The brains is in an office somewhere. We never see that guy. But they hire a spokesperson, someone who's charismatic, someone who looks the part. So depending on where you are in your business and what your business is, there are several ways to still just get started and do it. And I think at the end of the day, the most important message that we can take away is just get started, like do it. Start now. That's it. Well, Again, I am Bobby Penn. I am on social media everywhere. B O B B Y P E N. My website is thebobbypen.com. Again, my online course, Put Yourself on Academy, Learn to Build a Media Brand, is at putyourselfonacademy.com. And uh, yeah, everything you need will be there.